So, like Psalmist said, it's a pleasure to dwell for brothers in unity. And now we are sitting in a small church and we can talk about miracles that happen in this place. We talked in the bus about Elijah and now when he gathered all the uh, priests of Baal in this place, he asked them, there is no reason that you will be humble on the two lakes. You should ask your idols. If he is real God, that he will put the fire from the heaven to consume your sacrifice. And the worshiper of Baal, whole day were asking and begging the Baal that the fire will come from the heaven, but nothing. Elijah even laughed and said, maybe your God left to sleep and wake him. What happened was on the Mincha, at the time of Mincha, Elijah took 12 stones for 12 tribes of Israel and he dig that big hole. He put the 12 stones in there. He put the sacrificial animal in that hole and put the water, lots of water in that hole. And as soon as he asked Almighty God to bring the sacrifice, to consume that sacrifice, the fire came from the heaven and consumed that sacrifice. And that was a miracle. And immediately, Elijah took his sword and beheaded 400 prophets of Baal. And he was in the shock. Imagine a person who killed so many people because of, because of God. So he had the zeal to do that, to do that. And as soon as he committed that. It's a, it's a in your words, but the scripture says differently. And he ran away. Can you imagine from this place to run to Beersheba? How many kilometers it is? About 400. No, no, 160. Okay. So, 160 kilometers from here to Beersheba. In Beersheba, he was so tired and went to sleep under the uh, branch bush. In uh, Hebrew, it's Roten. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, and Bedouins, when that uh, bush is blooming, Bedouins collect the pattern of the, of the flower and they burning that pattern and making a beautiful cake. Cake. And it's called in the Bible, Ugat Yitzpa. Ugat Yitzpa. Yeah, I'm finishing. I'm finishing up. So, and, and that Ugat Yitzpa, Elijah ate. When he ate, he got stronger and he went further down south. He came to the Mount of God and there he received what he's supposed to receive. And you read it in the second Kings chapter 20, you can read that, that story. But what I want to try to say on this place, that the fire that came from heaven, it was not first time and then not second time. It was a third time that God did that. First of all, he did it in the desert when Moses built the Mishkan, he prayed to God, Moses prayed to God, and the fire came and consumed the fire, uh, the sacrifice that was on the altar. Second time, we read in the Divrayami, uh, Paralepeminon, right? Uh, we read that, uh, that Solomon, when he built the temple on the Temple Mount, and he dedicated the temple and also put the sacrifice, and fire came from heaven and consumed that sacrifice. And the third time, it was in the days of Elijah. So Elijah is the one who never died. Because according to the Bible, he was taken to heaven. Yeah. And he will be returning. In the New Testament, it says that it will be two witnesses in Jerusalem 
will read the thing about the Messiah. And they will be killed. And then they will rose again from the dead. So <coughs> that the story in the New Testament, I know that you don't believe don't. in the New Testament yet, but it will be time because it says that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Yeshua is the Lord. That's what the Bible says. It will be time, not, not for you yet. But according to the New Testament, it says that it will be that all Israel shall be saved. Thank you so much for your <coughs>